it guys, moving the last loader and the last metal plant, Snowbush Jr. is behind me with the 12 footer and I'm getting this uh, loader to its sight. Welcome back to the channel my friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Chris. You're watching the Snow Boss. And we are continuing set up for the snow removal season. And the new 966 is getting some snow tires put on today. All right guys, a little chilly this morning. Season is coming quick. Step down into winter is going well so far. Uh, I'm a little behind this year, but that's okay. We don't get snow until December around here anyway. So this is the 966 and so it's got 10,000 hours on it. So the back tires, this came out of a quarry down in uh, North Carolina. So these tires, rear tires are very, very bald. Will not do us, will not do us much good in the snow. But the front, they must have replaced at some point because they're in pretty decent shape. So what we're gonna do is move the fronts to the rear and then I'm putting two snow tires on the front. Uh, we can only find one manufacturer that makes snow tires, snow tires this big because these are uh, 26 and a half R25s. So these are big tires compared to compared to the 926 tires which are 20.5 R25s. So these are much bigger tires and the only ones uh, that had it was a brand called Hilo, H-I-L-O. Uh, 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 they are a Chinese tire, but they're the only ones that make them this big. So if you want snow tires this big, that's uh, the only option I had. So in the front, we've already got the one on, as you can see. Nice siphoning, nice blocking. Should be halfway decent. you because I got a flat tire. <laughs> Thank you. 
up with air. That's it. Repeat the process uh, two more times on this side. All right, guys, tires are done on this 966. So, two new ones. Snows on the front. Done. Move the old ones uh, that are still good to the rears. So now we got good ones on the rears. Plenty of tread on there. And then here's the other side of that. So I'm sure, sure some of you are gonna wanna know how much they cost. Uh, installed, they were $4,500 each. So it was about nine grand for the front. Actually, probably about 9,200 because I had to have them take the other, the old tires, which they charge like ridiculous amounts to take, but it is what it is. So she's ready for snow. We got a lot of equipment to move because quite honestly, I am behind. We got to get going. I got boxes over there still. 914 still. Ay, ay, ay. I'm working on my trailer right now. Need a new battery uh, breakaway kit. But uh, other than that, we're ready to go. Got to get the Snow Boss Junior. Get him uh, out here to be helping. And yeah, we'll uh, get this show on the road. I'm thinking hopefully second week of December we start getting some snow. It's, it's cold today, let me tell you. Here's a trailer. We needed a new breakaway box. So I got it all wired up nice. I just need some bolts to bolt it there to the frame. And she's ready to go. guys got our container loaded we're gonna head off to container land off to the warehouse pick it off move along all right guys we've got our container here we're unstrapping it now do me a favor guys if you like what you see hit that like button for me get some views on this video but we're just unstrapping it so we're gonna take the wheel loader come over here pull it off set it down right about here Go back to the shop, get all the stuff that goes in it, and fill her up for the season. All right, guys. So, next project is replacing our poly edge on our Snow Raider. With this new one I got online, it's about a hundred bucks. Uh, don't even remember where I got it to be honest with you. We're gonna do an oil change, and uh, yeah, we'll be ready to go with the Snow Raider. All right, so we've 
drilled our holes in our new poly. We used the uh, metal strip that goes on top as our template. And now, just gotta put that there. And put the bolts in, and we'll be all set. All right guys, we're cleaning up the skiddy. Putting the snow tires on the skiddy. Got Snow Boss Jr. in there. Cleaning up. But uh, so we're taking the regular skid steer tires off, putting the winter tires on. So last year, I know a lot of you uh, know that the tires I had bought from ProTech, these Pro Cleats, the treads were down to like the cords basically by the end of the season. Um, so I refused to buy entire new sets like that and have them do that so I used the rims took the tires off put these new uh, Firestone Winter Force LTs on them which is light truck which are Templi um, and uh, they're true dedicated snow tire and you can see how good the siping is on them so we'll see if they last now obviously these are going to be a little softer so they might wear just as much worse um i don't know till we do it but uh for what these cost versus buying these snow wolf and snow paws and pro cleats and everything else i'm gonna give these a try because well it's like at least half the price and a better tire to begin with so even if they wear out the same at least i'm not spending as much doing it so uh yeah let's get these tires on These do have rotation on them, so you gotta make sure they're going the right direction. You gotta make sure uh, the tire guy mounted them correctly with two going one way and two for the other side. Otherwise, you'll have four of all the same rotation and you won't be able to put them on the other side. Alright guys, all the tires are on. Skid steer, getting ready to load it up. It's all greased, all cleaned, all ready for the winter season. Let's get her loaded up. Let's get the RTV loaded up and get it to the site. Alright guys, so we are here working on the 12 foot uh, live box here. So what this one hooks to the uh, 914 and this is their ISO coupler uh, for this machine. And uh, last year we were having a bunch of problems um, putting it, uh, getting it on to sit right just took so long and was getting hung up all the time. So we think that these are just not spaced properly. So we're going to unbolt this stuff and uh, get it to fit right. All right, so we made, a, we made an adjustment on one of the quick coupler uh, hooks here. Uh, moved it over one hole and uh, that thing slides right on now so we're all good so loading up
All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for our pre-staging of equipment for the season. We are all set. We are ready to go. Now it just needs the snow. If you like what you see, guys, hit that like button for me. Smash that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Let it snow. And we'll see you next video.